because he was much, much older than you think. And, you know, and old people, and I speak for myself, uh, they sometimes have a problem uh, memorizing things properly. You know. No, but he had a problem. You know. He's such a lovely actor and such a great guy. How many tapes was it in the end? I couldn't remember. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's also a very short exchange. Ah. But, you know, it's, uh, this is such an uh, uh, unimportant issue, actually. The actors don't mind many takes. They like to be good. And they very much appreciate the fact that they're given the chance of doing it again and again and again and maybe doing it a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. So we've got another one more question in here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, back to AI again. Is, is there a reason why Kubrick isn't credited with either the, the based on the story or any of the screenplay? Is, is there a reason why Kubrick didn't do what? Is there a reason why Kubrick isn't credited with He did. The well, right at the beginning. It's a sense of Stanley Kubrick uh, production, sure. Yeah, but the screenplay is the No, no, the the well, well, that has to do also with the guilds. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a political issue. Right. And, well, that, that's a Hollywood political thing with a writing issue and uh, all that stuff. But we totally agreed with that. I remember that issue. I, I remember that the, the Kubrick trustees were then asked whether this was okay, and they said, absolutely, no, never mind, perfectly fine. So he shared credit at the beginning, but he didn't get the screenwriting credit. Mm -hmm. but, uh, to some way, it's also justified because Stephen uh, rewrote the script to, to adapt it to his own sensibilities. Yeah, but in, it, it's a form change. So how much of the ending Spielberg and how much is Kubrick? It, it feels like there are multiple endings. Yeah, I well, feel that Kubrick would have ended it. The, the, um, ver the very ending, the very ending, uh, was suggested by Kubrick, but not in such detail. And uh, the, the, there is clearly a Spielbergian element here, which is okay. I mean, Stanley wanted it to become a Spielberg film. Yeah? He thought it was absolutely necessary, and he gave up on it. Uh, in already in 92, 93, you know, and then uh, of course Steven Spielberg had other things to do, but I'm very glad that he did it then, uh, then uh, after Stanley's death. It was very, very quickly that he moved on this. Yeah. Uh, he was a great fan of Kubrick. I mean, I, I remember the, uh, he heard on, uh, on the, uh, he heard the same day when Stanley died that, that he had died, and he called all his friends together. And, them all to his house and screen Path of Glory. Yeah, he was a very, very respectful to Stanley. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll have to finish it there. Um, is there any one more question? Just a quick one. Yeah. Thanks, uh, other than nudity, was anything else cut from Eyes Wide Shut? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hear one word. I said, other than uh, the nudity, was anything else cut from Eyes Wide Shut? Nothing was cut no. from my structure, absolutely not. We, were, we had added more voyeurs mm. digitally for the US release. Yeah. That's all. Brilliant. No, no, the first Thank you so much. Well, well, we couldn't do that. I mean, we would get slaughtered <laughs> <laughs> by the press, particularly. Um, Rightly so. <laughs> yeah. um, just to finish things up, um, can you impart anything you can, uh, the particular that Kubrick kind of? Said to you or worked on with that you can remember that might not be as it might not be otherwise. Never explain anything that you don't understand yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, he was very often asked, "Oh, can you explain more about the end of 2001?" Right. He thought it was crystal clear. <laughs> at the same time, yeah. at the same time, he has no explanation for the unknowable. Don't talk about it. Yeah. There you go. On that note, um, you can join me in another round of applause. For <laughs>